Because this documentary right here is the documentary that is going to make me cry. I promise you. Put in a parlay that halfway through, you see a tear come down my eye and watch it happen. Now look, today I got the Kwon Ji Young Act 3 Mote documentary. This is what y'all been wanting. Let's just get right into it. I have nothing else to say. Jeez. Where my dogs at? Yo. Where my dogs at? Let's go. Where my dogs at? And if we gotta get the god set him on it. You can see the love he has in the music. I want to say though, in when he's in the studio, does he normally like to be alone when he creates his own solos? You know, a lot of, I feel like American artists, they always, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like they always got a bunch of people in the studio with him. You feel me? And it can't be distracting. Sometimes they bring in women. They bring in all types of stuff. But I feel like GD's the type of person where he just goes in there and he's just like, I just, just me and my music, nothing else, nobody else. Uh, just so he can focus and dial in on it. And he probably likes to that aloneness at the same time. Like, I know he talks about being alone, but I think in a moment like this when you intentionally want to, you know, be alone so you can work on your craft, it's a lot different. <laughs> Or if you if you don't want to go there, you could just even do like let me let me out like. Uh, woo! Let me let me let me out. Out. Like, let, let me, me out. Let me, like, let me out. I don't know. I don't know. And we get to see him be a part of the whole process, you know. <laughs> he looks so like clean, but he looks like he don't want to be out in the limelight. <laughs> Ready? Yep. <laughs> Can't wait. What What's it mostly talking about? It's, like, what's the? It's Truman Show. Okay. So it's him like But everybody, everyone, yeah. living, they're it's all on Truman Show. Yeah. Truman Show. Everyone, like, wow. they made it there, like themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's like a drama. Everyone wow. The concept is just Konjiyang. Right. Yeah, and every like honest. Every like this <laughs> album is just really about me. Not G Dragon, not as like Pierce Minor Sport. Right. But it's me. That's me. Now I'm kinda like question more in my head. Is it like am I I might want it to be like this? Mm -hmm. uh, I live like maybe or like yeah. who it who am I? Like something like that. Writing about like family mm -hmm. or like friend or like real like love. Mm -hmm. mm. So whole thing is like that. I love this part. He says it's a super honest and it's about him. And I know for the most part we can think like you gotta be a little cocky or conceited or have an ego to make something just strictly about you and not for your audience. Nowadays, when we make any type of creative content, everybody says, think about your audience, make it for your audience, bring value to your audience. But he's just saying like, nah, this is about me. This is about what I go through. This is about family, friends, like really relatable, personal things about him with the intentions knowing that it's going to inspire so many people because he, just like he said, the Truman Show, we all kind of make up our own drama about ourselves. Like our, we make up our own lies and it's kind of like a Truman Show. And 
because he understands that, he understands that if he shares his story, just like the Truman Show shared it live, you feel me? That if he were to able to do the same, that he would be able to connect with people who, because we're all connected in some sort of way, right? Right. I'm super honest. DDs That's and super genius. I thought it was like some holistic uh, therapy or something. I was just taking a break or before his show. He got them all just filling up on his face. He probably he probably feel the most loved in those moments. You feel me? He probably he got some style on him. <laughs> Again, his style is like it kind of reminds me. It's different from Kanye's, but the the intentions Kanye has with his style is like to be hidden but still fashionable. GD gives me that feeling too of like he gonna step out and he gonna be putting that stuff on. Like he gonna be fly regardless. But it almost is like kind of like wear that makes you kind of look hidden at the same time. You know, like he don't want to be seen. But want to be seen, but don't want to be seen. The hairstyle is crazy. I used to have that too. I think every mom just kind of got tired and just. And it's easy. It's dope, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is that that is a big point that he brought up. That he didn't get no sur plastic surgery on his face or anything, um, which is really dope because normally when people become famous, that's the first thing they try to do is try to look better, have a better image for the cameras because a lot of people in the beginning too would be like, oh, you're ugly, you don't look good enough. And so like you, it makes you want to change your face. And then normally when they get older, their face starts to not look good and then now they don't want it type stuff. So it's cool that he was like, you know. I look the way I am, and I'm okay with that. I don't need no plastic surgery or go that far. And I love that he had the fan with his uh, when he was a kid on it, because this is about him. And really, I feel like it's about him as a kid, you know, and how he grew up and kind of making that young child with uh, in him proud of what he's doing now. I love myself. I am. Let's go. Oh, 
this is no for people. Yeah. His fans, maybe? Steph only. He's just artistic in, in everything. <laughs> He kind of reminds me of like Justin Bieber, bro. Am I way off? Am I crazy for saying that? Justin Bieber, in a way, he's so passionate about his music. A lot of his music now, like the era he's in, is more about himself and more personal, more raw. On top of that, you just see that like he has his hands in everything, you know, when it comes to just the process of touring and making music. He even, you know, just shares a lot about himself more personally and takes the breaks that he needs. And then seeing him in the studio, Justin Bieber normally is, is you can see that same expression in both of them. You feel me? And I think it's just that, that natural humanness. <laughs> And there's so many people that plays into the role of his success too. And I noticed he got a lot of women on his team too. Like, like motherly things. What I say, he's the type of person that loves being alone. Um, but also, like, he mentioned what it feels like to be alone. And I think what I can relate to is, like, you go out there and you try to make all these connections and do this for this person, and this person's in your life and out your life. And, like, it gets to a point where you're like, I just rather be alone. You feel me? Like, it feels better to be alone because you ain't worrying about all this other stuff and all these other people. And it's crazy that in his, uh, before his tours, before his concerts, that he locks himself inside. And they didn't see him for three days. I would be so worried if I'm his security, if I'm on his team, period. Like, what's going on? 
But I wonder if it's not just something he does all the time, but there's something more deeper that makes him do that before. You know, like, we'll see. <laughs> Never been to a museum. <laughs> modern art is nice thing. I like modern art. Though. <laughs> it's very cool. <laughs> it's not for everybody. <laughs> I wonder if he didn't eat anything when he was locked up, too, in his hotel. You can kind of see it in his body. You know, his body looks a little bit smaller. Than he seems happy just to eat you know, food like that. W team, right? W team for getting them out. They understand. They give him his space, but then they're like, okay, we do need to get you out, though. We do need you to interact with us and have fun and eat some food. W team, and it's the boys too. The big booty floaty is crazy. <laughs> He's He does like though, because he is an artist. You see him drawing those shoes and stuff. He said, "Hawaii, not yet." But Hawaii, not to buy, but it's not yet. Oh, that Hawaii is a little bit. Here, this is fun. Fun. Because Hawaii is a real nature. Right. Here is a real nature. Plus, party. Nature plus party. Two years long. Wait. You want to listen to what? What is it? Seoul? Ah, I'm just looking at Seoul. 집을 지으려면 세큐리티 문제가 있어요. 왜? 그 거긴 주택이잖아. 타평네 같은 경우도 따로 지키시는 음. 분이 없잖아. 거긴 순찰을 도는 거지. 집 앞에 24시간 베리는 분들. 난 그렇게 별로 없어요. 만난 그런 집을 주면 그리고 안 이런 거 인식해. Facts. 그래서 집을 어떻게든 있으면 짓고 음. 그 위에를 이렇게 큐브처럼 다들라까 생각 중. 그냥 네모나게 박스를 아 만들 I actually like this part that he's talking about, you know, a home and where he would build it at because I feel like in Asian countries it's a lot more safer than it is, you know, in the western uh, countries. Uh, for example, like in America, a lot of Japanese people that go to America, they're like, you know, I wouldn't live there for the fact that it's they feel unsafe. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities and there's a lot of pros, don't get me wrong, but the safety alone is what brings them back to Japan. Um, and I understand that too, what he just mentioned. You know, he said in Seoul, top doesn't have security and people ring the doorbell 24 seven, you know? But imagine in America, people be getting house vandalized. They be doing the craziest, most thing. 
you know, in America and in, in places like that. And so I like that he's just bringing that up. Um, and yeah. So it's the place to go. Asian countries is for that safety and security, naturally. Miami, not the place for him. <laughs> it's. N mm -mm. Really embracing the alone, uh, the loneliness. It's something difficult to do, but he look at him. Hey, I had that same shirt. Yo, he stole it out of my closet, huh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> so now we know what he does inside his hotel because at first I was like, what does he do? Like, is he just in bed? Does he stay in? Like, you know, but it shows that he does his arts and crafts. It shows that he does have food, so he is eating. You know, uh, which is good. It's really good. <laughs> I told y'all. Got good women around you, just loving on you like that. Massaging you, taking care of your face, your hair. It feels good. He got great people around him, man. I feel like if he didn't have those people around him, hmm, I'm not even gonna finish that. I'm glad he has great people around him. I'm not an alcoholic, but I drink every day. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh, he, he, yeah, he feeling the booze. <laughs> I wonder at this time, he was already part of YG, right? And he was already making his music and stuff, or he was doing like his internship, because they came up to him and they're asking him like, has he met any celebrities? So obviously he has been uh, already in the industry doing this thing, right? And so now he's at school and he got a bunch of people around him, the naughty boys, the gangsters kind of looking at him. Uh, man, he, he had a lot of pressure at such a young age. You know, and who the women to the left, though? She laughing a little too hard right now. <laughs> so Tae Yang a nice guy, but he was he was a bully in school. Not a bully, but a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm wrong. <laughs> he feeling a little loosey. With the shoes on the chair, he feeling loose. <laughs> She'll turn to make me laugh. <laughs> Funny. That's smooth. Occupational disease to make people laugh. Well, what's up? Coming out after the I love how he met Tae Yang at such a young age. You know. And to be still like in Big Bang with him and had that friendship probably kept him grounded in a lot of times. Got his hands in the choreography. You got his hands in everything. He's just an artist, a genius. Probably brings him a lot of stress too. Who is he trying to call? Who is he trying to call? YG boss.
제가 지금 리허설 한 거를 보냈어요. 네. 그리고 이것도 왜냐면 개소리가 빨리 그 미국을 제가 10분 이라 다녀요. 근데 그 감독한테 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said I need to get BS done before I go to America. He's on tour and he's making a song that he has to finish when he goes to America. Like he's already thinking about the next tour, the next place. The next thing, and he still is working on what's going on now. I don't know how a brain can hold all that in. Think about all the、um, parts that go into it, be in control of so many parts, and make it so perfect and flawless. Like this, he's a special person, bro. 저는 근데 지금도 마음에 들어. 보시고 축하해. Yes. Seems a little fed up with the YG boss. Yeah. He looked like he was seeking a little help. Yeah, she's a little bit of 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 a 그 다음에 그럼 언제 쓰여 그 다음에 16, 17일 날그 16, 17일 전 뮤직비디오랑 잘 캐시는데 어떻게 아니 뮤직비디오 언제 찍지? 16, 17일 날 뮤직비디오 16일 날 뮤직비디오 작게 촬영 미국 언제 17일? 17일 작게 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 That stressed me out, bro. You gotta do this on the 18th, and on the 19th, you gotta do this. 16th, you gotta do this. Stress. <laughs> He's talking about when he had to go do his service. I'm surprised there's not a bunch of fans like in the airport. Inside, like waiting on them, trying to talk to them, get pictures and stuff. And that girl, she was rubbing on her, his arm like that. You know, she just making sure he's relaxed because he does do a lot and got a lot going on. I know some people can see that as something sexual. Oh, he's dating her, he's messing with her. But it seemed like, you know, she's making sure he's good, he's relaxed. He's in his mind a little bit. Prière de laisser la priorité aux passagers qui ont des voix. 
놀면 <웃음> 뭐 가사라도 Mini taking up his whole head. Nigga, I don't know what that tattoo means. Obviously, it's smiley face. It seems like it's a sign of happiness. I just want to know, like, when did he get it and what's, like, more of the detail meaning of why he got it um, and why he get it right there, you know? Uh, just because I feel like it's really deep, obviously. He keeps looking at it. He puts it on his designs, his shoes. Uh, so something super important that he was probably going through a really tough moment. He probably got that, and that kind of helped him through it. Um, but I know y'all know, so uh, in the comments, please let me know why. why. He and even on the airplane, he was working. No, he maximizes his time like crazy. That part of his band. At the brothers. My brothers. Flip of the switch, you go on stage, you get different animal, different beast. <laughs> Why they be doing me like that, bruh? They be building up the concert and then go back to some older clips. This is finished, like at the end of it. I live alone. <laughs> Mad love from the crew, man. Mm. I love this moment. It seems like it's after a performance, which if it is, that's actually really crazy that he still got this energy and he's still bringing joy to the people around him and he's still just having fun, you know, after it. But if it's not, if it's before, you know, still, even with all the nerves, it just seems like he finds a way to loosen up himself um, and he's not so caught up in his head. And then he go out there and he be doing crazy performances, which is really, really, really dope. And, um, yeah. I don't know about the financial part, though. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's my boy Dave. I can push my son. So, the body will be there. What do you think of me? It's a tongue body. I don't know. Go, 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 I'm not 
I live alone. I love how he called his brother though You know When he's feeling lonely And It makes you question too Because he got He got a bunch of people around him You know He got his team around him But It's, it's a little bit different When you got your boys Your brothers who um, like not on stage, you feel me? Not when he's being GD, uh, that he's been through the rough, you know. Especially like Tay Yang, who grew up with him. Uh, it's definitely good to have those people around you and be able to talk to them. I wonder if they call him though, or if they're like they're so busy, then they also know he's busy, where they don't really reach out because he said, you know, I called you because I've been so lonely. So I, I wonder if it's like a, you know, two sided thing or a one sided thing. Because that can suck sometimes when it's one sided. Oh, my God, what are you doing? What are you know the number is crazy. That's not people on that screen. TV, right? For him? You kind of have to psych yourself out sometimes. I do want to know why he's he feels so lonely, you know. Um, I know he mentioned it in his songs, and he mentioned it a lot. Um, but I'm starting to think more about it because he has his team with him, right? He has the security. He has all them, uh, uh, you know, young ladies and, you know, older ladies around him, you know, that are part of his team, his band. You know, he has his brothers, Day, uh, Day Sung, Tae Yang, uh, Seguri, uh, Top. You know, he got his whole team with him. So I wonder why he feels so lonely. Is it because he works so hard that he's always on the road? He's always doing art. Like he's always doing something and they're always doing something. So they like they don't spend as much time as you think they would together uh, because they're just grinding. Or if the, the people around him are around him, but they don't check up on him and really ask him them questions that people avoid. Like, how are you? And, and just spend that quality time with each other. I, I wonder, you know. Because it seems like he got a lot of people around him. So I'm like wondering, what is he looking for to help him be less lonely? You know?
칼이. 일단 뭐 자. 뭐 자요 일단. 또 이런 걸좀 보자. 이 대만이야? 이러고 있어. 정신 없어. 대만이라 그러지. 그 고속 들어야 된다. 가야 된다고. Gas. Tours are not artists' best friends. You know they love it, but it's, it's tough on the body, tough on the mind. You know, especially the way Big Bang and GD be performing. <laughs> Ridiculous. So fly though, bruh. I'm, I'm trying to dress like him, honestly. But I'm saying tomorrow. Some important people that I'm missing. It's like an award show or something, it feels like. Or a fashion show. I be complaining. I don't sleep enough. I be getting a cool sad eight hours a day, feeling tired still <laughs> after work. I don't know what tiredness is, boy. If I'm comparing it. We know how the big this is though, because he struggles with sleeping. And he slept well, so that's big. England baddies don't know him. The English baddies don't know who GD is. You better look him up. That's the crazy thing, though. And I don't know if it's just with K-pop artists during this time. Maybe it's different now. Or I don't know if it's just different locations. It's It's different. But he was able to, he had security, but he was able to, like, 
walk without anybody running up to him a lot. Hey, G D G D you know, sign this, sign into this. You know, like I, I think about in America how like celebrities literally don't live a normal life. Like they can't go outside to any normal place, regular place that we do on a daily. Um and I feel like it, obviously it's the same for G D but I wonder if he goes to different countries it's less of that because uh maybe during this time K pop was big but not as big as where he couldn't, you know, do certain things, normal everyday activities. <laughs> <laughs> he does look really like low, but he's like trying his best to be It's these moments that are so beautiful. I got it need when I buy your peace. Like, I just want to hit him up and see how he is today. You know, I just want to check in. How is he doing, y'all? If y'all know anything. I'm really curious. Like, I really hope he's doing super well. You got me losing my mind the way you got me fired up. Never give up, believe when they try us. You and me against the world with you. I'd rather die tonight. You have my heart like the beat the way you are. The CL, huh? Yeah, she looked good. You and me against the world with you. I'd rather die tonight. Like some mom, that note didn't hit well. <laughs> For one, this song is fire, and I think uh, I think it was a special. It said he has had said special Olympic. I don't know if he was playing at the Special Olympic or where he's at right now, about to perform this song. But it seems like it's a song that really connects and unifies people together, and it's really dope because he had it's GD on it, but also CL. So you get two both aspects of like not just talking about men empowerment or women empowerment, but it's just the empowerment and the connection and the unity amongst all people. And she sound good, she look good. Like this is one of my favorite songs, to be honest. And he's so kind and yeah. like, respectful <laughs> to her, you know? <laughs> he don't show any crazy emotions.
지원자 내일은 이제 볼수 없을 거 아니야. 이제 리허설 해야 되니까. 리허설 땡, 시간이 좀 땡기더라도 예, 내일 영상 되는 걸 내가 한번 보고 올라가서 두 번째 리허설 했으면 좋겠는데. 지금 여기서 뱉는 영상이 있어야 될거 아니야? 있어, 없어. 영상이 있는 거 아니야? 없다고? 왜? 저 모자까지 가야 된다니까? 저걸 왜안 쓰냐? 문 열리고 내려가야 되는 계단도 없었고 Like he's he has his hands in everything, bro. This is so crazy. He shot a video yesterday and he already in a meeting. It's working. You just watching him be a part of everything and making sure that he's involved just shows you that it's not just about money, you know? Because I'm sure he can go pay somebody who's that's their career to do certain things to do it. But he decides not to for the fact that like he's just passionate about the entire process. And it's not even about making sure that everything goes perfect because, yes, it's, it's, it's about that as well. But I think he's just such an artist that he just wants to be in everything. Has it has have his hands in everything? You feel me? I guess you can feel it's not about money. It's not a money grab. Think about all the people he has to like communicate with and talk to. <laughs> you gotta be tiring, bro. His nerves working up. And again, back to like, it's all good, bro. I'm all right. I, I want to say this, bro. I swear, it'd be the people that really be fighting some lonely battles and overcoming them that really be going through the most, you know? People like GD, where he shine them but light and love. But he's so alone at the same time, you know, and you wonder, like, why why don't I have all these, like, I have all these people around me and I still feel lonely. And, like, bro, I go through all these battles, I go through all these struggles that y'all don't even know. Y'all see the ones that y'all see, but the ones y'all don't even know, I'm overcoming them. But those type of people have to not fake a smile because it's not fake, but they just got to be strong for themselves, you know. Like, they just got to, just like he did to this. And he's just like smiling again. Like you gotta be the one to snap yourself out of it real quick, you know? You can't lean on somebody else to do that.
This whole solo album is probably my favorite album. It's really good. strikes a nerve in your heart it will strike a nerve in anybody's heart you know he just said learn how to take a break learn how to you know rest I think what I love that he said here is understand that the world does not stop because you're not here or you're not doing the things you're, you're supposed you feel like you're supposed to be doing that it's okay to rest in the world the world is going to continue to move as it does he said take a look at the nature that's what nature does you know like it, it just don't stop for anything it just keeps going and just look around be present you know be able to enjoy life more because i mean that's live for yourself you know it's all you really can do sometimes is we only have one life to live and a lot of people are living for others or they're doing things that people want them to become and you know at the end of their life they kind of look back with regrets and like you know i wish i did this i wish i did that and it's like the sad fact is you can never go back and change that or do anything different. Like, you used up your time type stuff. So, ha! Huh. <laughs> What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, yo, what's up, what's up, now hold the sound, check your head. Hey, well. <laughs> <laughs> Blacklist is crazy. <laughs> For now on, I want nothing but women touching my face, my hands, my hair. <laughs> Screw her. Oh, that's good. That's 
이거 알고 그 쪽으로 넘어 제가 기억하는 거예요. 그래, 알아. 요거 쓰고 하면 이상할 수도 있을 것 같아. 사람보다 싸웠어요? 아니, 약간 그거 같아서 그래요. 어. 서프라이즈 재현 배우 같은 거. 지웅이 머리 같이 이렇게 두고 지웅이 머리 같이 뒤에를 붙여줄게. 아, 뒤에 있어? 붙이는 게? 붙이는 거 있어. 뒷머리 붙여줄게, 그거. 그거 괜찮아. 아, 좋아, 좋아, 좋아. 그래. 어 그래 오늘 노래 소리 좀만 더 크게 부탁드릴게요. 노래 소리야. 근데 이거 다 MR이잖아. 그래야 해. 야 로봇들이 입고 가야 돼. 됐어. 됐어. Is this the part where he got that tattoo and so he had to grow his hair out long so his uh, mom couldn't see it? Not think he already had that in this. I'm not really sure, but I love how Singu uh, Singri. Uh, you know, was able to come, you know, and even just now he said thank you for coming because in the beginning we saw that he called Day Sung and he was just like, bro, like I miss y'all, man. I'm just feeling lonely, so I know it feels good to have someone there with him. And um, I think in the comments somebody mentioned that during this documentary, during this tour, actually Top was going through some health issues, so he couldn't be there. Um, obviously Day Sung and um, Day Sung was a uh, you know show. He had he had other stuff that was going on. Um. And Tae Yang, I don't know where Tae Yang is at. I hope he does show up, though. I think that probably is when you're going to see the most light come out of him, just because he grew up with him. Uh, but it's cool to see one of his bros there with him, you know? Yeah. And it's in Japan, so you know he went crazy, because the Japan tour is wild. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell the difference. Besides, he looks a little bit tired. He looks a little bit bigger. Like size. <laughs> 이 I wonder, well, you can see how much weight he's losing in this. Like, it's almost sad to even look at him. You know, like I'm watching this and I'm like trying not to, because you know you can just see so much bones and stuff. I wonder if the people around him. Like, what support were they providing him? Not that they weren't. That's not what I'm saying. But, like, they know GD going to be GD at the end of the day. He's still going to perform. He's still going to make everything happen. But, like, the people around him had to be concerned. And I know they were concerned. And I know they were trying to support. And the hardest thing is trying to support someone. But, like, you know at the end of the day that they have to be the ones to take that step. You know, and, and want help and seek it and open up to it. Um, not that GD wasn't, but I just, you know, just wondering. Bang, 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 and if they execute it, they're crazy. They're godly. You can't tell <laughs> That's so clean. That's so smooth. Genius, again. That's so dope, that's so dope. 
They just having fun, bro. This is good to see. <laughs> Look, let's just think about anything y'all do in life, whether whatever your job may be. Just imagine your best friend is with you doing that same job, and y'all just acting a fool, just having fun. Like you know, it would just take your joy and your excitement to the next level. Even if they have no idea what they're doing, you just know having your best friend with you, it's going to be crazy. It's like when you're in high school or even middle school and you know you and your best friend got that same class and they and you sit next to each other, that teacher going to have a rough, rough one. I kid you not. And I feel like it feels like that uh, when they're performing, you know, him showing up just now. Um, and you can see, too, just in Japan is a different kind of beast. I wonder... All their tours are good. Let me say that first. But in Japan, it just seems like it's just a little bit better, you know? You can almost see the fatigue in him in his performance. The crowd doesn't even sound like they're real. That's how loud they are right now. So this was before their Big Bang Japan Dome tour, right? Like the last one they did? Because if so, he did this back to back? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro came off the bench and just performed like that. Let's get some of this stuff. That is a good part. Menzo, <la�> <웃음> 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 이거 안 하면 원래 곡스거든요, 평소에는. 원래 쓰면 원래 쓰면 안 알려줘. 원래 쓰는 건 많아. 안 풀. 난 이거 창작하는 거야. 이건 난 이게 휴식이에요. 아무 잡생각 잡생각이 없어. Balenci's though, I see him. <laughs> like not only is he writing his own music he writes music for Big Bang bruh I didn't know in Loser they didn't even have Singri in it he revised it to put him uh, in it and have his part and he's constantly writing music he's constantly doing something that's art artistic this man is always busy. Like, I, I, you don't have time to rest or chill. And so, 
I'm wrong because he just said when he is writing music or when he is doing art, that is his way of relaxing. That takes his mind off of a lot of things and simplifies it. Because, again, imagine everything that goes through his mind. Not just his personal life, but on concert. The people he's dealing with. This needs to be done. He has to go here tomorrow. He has to go here next week. And it's a lot. So he just says the best way to, uh, you know, calm himself and simplify that is just to create. <laughs> it's just, And it seems like work to people that don't understand on the outside. But to him, it's not work. It's fun. He's he enjoys it, um, and just again, he's crazy when it comes to making music and making songs. Um, and I like I said before, GD knows how to perfectly arrange and place the members of Big Bang in these songs and have parts that are make so much sense. That's why he said, "I always give him the best parts." Like I I know what I'm doing. Like it's cool. It's cool that he had that like moment of like I'm him. Everything he makes has such beautiful, powerful intentions. He performed in Amsterdam. They know who GD is in Amsterdam? He's global, for sure. <laughs> He's that guy. I don't even know where Amsterdam is. I've never met a person from Amsterdam. Jokes. Yeah, I'm gonna give him that. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna go up to him. <laughs> Just taking it all in. But I'm sad. fails to do is express himself. Multiple times he says I'm sad, multiple times he says I'm lonely, and he tells it right to the face of the people that are around him to let them know. Like, I know on the outside of everything looks good, but this is how I really feel. So you can never be surprised. <laughs> Big team, man. Great job, 
Who paying them? <laughs> That's a lot of money. It's probably the same color as the shoe to cover up something. <laughs> Dang, everybody just standing there. <laughs> yeah, everybody's just standing there. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Why the red color though? Why did he go with that? I thought I saw Tae Yang for a second. Hold on. That was gonna make me happy. Did he make this a song? Cause this right here would be so hard with GD on it. crazy because they say he looks more tired as the performances go on but they're getting better I just don't know how he does it. I don't know how his body body goes through all of that he gives the best performances and after he just seems like he has no like nothing left in him then he goes and does that again I, I need that I want that dedication in me now uh, where do I find that how do I get that Mm. 
We got my boy Tay. Tay! She's so beautiful, my goodness. Hey, we got they sit they say I wanna say they sing they sung there too? Tay Yang, they sung. C L I'm not gonna lie. You look at them and you see their personality and you like they really make music? Like they really gonna go out there and perform twenty four songs and kill it the way they do? You know, especially they sung, you know. They he just don't even look like an artist, a singer. And then you watch them go out and perform, you're like, Whoa, whoa, that's who you are? Man, that's crazy. And I wonder what was the relationship with Top. I know Top couldn't be there due to health issues, I believe. That's what I read in one of the comments. So I wonder if G D was a little bit upset at that or if he's just been so busy, he's like, I saw it and I understand, but I just don't have a response right now. Black Pete, like, he got the homies with him. Is that Jenny or something? <laughs> this is so good, man. You know, because he said that uh, he felt lonely. To like, uh, you know, have these people, his, his family pretty much there with him. I almost cried. I almost cried on that. I Rehearsing right before you about to go on stage. You can just feel that, like, even though he got his family with him, Day Sung, Tae Yang, Blackpink, you can tell that inside he's still like, man, I feel so lonely, bruh. I'm so broken. I'm so hurt. I'm so in pain, man. Even his health, you can see the weight he lost. Like, how, how do you help someone that's going through something like that, you know? Because I know we all got somebody that's going through something in our lives that we're there for them, but it just, we don't know how to help them.
Tinha um X. Você ia uma no doorbells for this reason. Ei, virou a chave, me dá. Just feel the pain, you know, the unhappiness, the sorrow. But you can see him also just do his best, you know. And it's not that he doesn't show it; he he talks about it, he shows it. But he's like, I just I just want people there for me, bro. That's it. That's it. Honestly, don't have anything to say. 